Hi everyone, welcome back to the Long Dark. Here we are. We've just staved off some hypothermia. We've just eaten uh, after cooking some venison from that down deer there. Uh, and can we take a torch? And uh, we're going to continue our adventure to try and find Astrid. The fire is just about to go out. And my goodness, how do we get down here? Now we know this guy... Wow, the moon is really bright tonight. Uh, we know this guy is not the most athletic person in the world. So, crouching. There we go. This is about his limit of his physical exertions. Occasionally you'll encounter an obstacle in your path. Crouching might help you get under it. Who knew? Crouching also makes you less obvious to wildlife. Uh, from a distance, uh, you move more slowly, but more silently you can get closer. I used that tactic to hunt rabbits. Yeah, I am the rabbit hunter. Good. Right, so we managed to get under there. And what do we have here? Oh, is that something up there, or is that just that's just snow? Okay, it's a nice wind chill factor. Well, wind chilled factor in here. Oh, start. Oh, I don't extinguish my stick. Um, we'll start um, collecting sticks as we're here. We have used. We've had a couple of fires just to stave off hypothermia. Um, so they were essential, really. And we've also, you know, maybe been able to do some cooking and that kind of thing with it. So it wasn't a complete waste. I need the good drop something. Now we're fine, mate. Stop whinging. Um, we've got some old man beard lichen stuff here. Lovely. No. Ah. Oh. Oh good, that will light up again. Just lost the match, but that's okay, it's not too much of a pain. Right, um, we've got a cave here, this is not going to be bad. This is not going to go badly at all, is it? Light. Each light source has pros and cons. You may need to improvise light sources to see in the dark. You can craft torches out of that available materials. Flares provide a one-off light source. Lanterns last longer, but use up oil. Darkness hides dangers and also prevents you from crafting, repairing your gear and other actions. And frozen... We'll have the torch. Let's search the, uh, the icicle. We've got some boxing gloves. Uh, some granola bar. We'll take the bedroll. Bedrolls. Resting heals you and saves your progress. Resting restores lost condition and helps you recover from afflictions. You can rest in beds and find you find and explore the world. A bedroll allows you to rest wherever you like. Remember the resting uses up calories and the hours that pass make you hungry and thirsty. Resting also saves the game. Good to know. Right. Let's just have a look um, in our clothing. So we go status, clothing, um, and we got some gloves. Let's put those on. They're not the best conditions, but they're better than nothing. Uh, those of you who missed the last episode, we, with the fires, we were able to dry out or defrost and dry out the ragged down, ragged down vest and also the worn wool socks, which has also given us an extra layer. Um, so you can see um, we're not doing terribly badly. We uh, we do have a bit of a scent about us apparently. Uh, 2,000 calories uh, but it feels like 5 degrees so we're nice and warm. Uh, our fire is about to go out and I think that's it for our torch. So let's get the, uh, the one we've just um, picked up and uh, see if we can uh... yeah that's 1% that's 53% let's equip that and light it there we go that's better that's better that gives us a sporting chance to see where we're going ah there's the wait is that no, no that's... we're going the wrong way you see I got turned around in the dark Always a very scary thing. Now, of course, caves are 
the natural home of wolves and bears and all sorts of bitey nasty things. We'll use our crouch function to get under here. Astrid, why on earth did you come into this nasty, cold and dank place? Are you trying to kill me? You know I've got all these afflictions. There's another torch and a stick. We'll have that. Good. This is almost as if... Oh, which way? We'll check this way first. Ah, oh, loots. Look at this. Burned out campfire. Lost in the storm. We'll read that in a second. Uh, ever flame. Oh, sewing kit. Nice. We can do some clothing repairs. We can get that. Right, let's have lost in the... Do we have... Here we go. Uh, a letter found on the discarded backpack in the cave. Examine. Um, I left with the others, but the storm turned bad and I couldn't keep up. Some turned back to see if they could wait. <coughs> Excuse me. Some turned back to see if they could wait it out of the old church. I kept going, but I think I took a wrong turn. I'll backtrack in the morning and see if I can find their trail. The letter is signed Alice. Alice? Who is Alice? <laughs> right. Okay, so down here we go. We've got another break in the cave. Got some stalagmites here. No stalactites. It's interesting. Oh, and we can see the uh, a blue glow of the moonlit exit. All right, so we've come through this cave. Oh, and a stick, just to give us a little bonus at the end. Nice. Oh, big stick. Oh, that I was click clearly clicking on that. Okay. I'm gonna have to be very cautious with what I click on. Okay, we're out the other side. We are sheltered That's from the wind. Where did you go? Well, let's see if we can find some of her um, clothing torn on the uh... wolves. Oh god, here we go. Avoid if you can. Wolves are not dogs. And out here, they are very dangerous. They normally avoid humans. But do you really want to take the chance? Like most things in nature, wolves are afraid of fire. Campfires, torches, flares can all keep them at bay. Throw torches or flares might scare them away, but there is no guarantees. In the end, the best way to avoid tangling wolves is to get give them a wide berth. Remember, they're attracted to blood and raw meat. Oh, I see them. All right, let's just... How do we... We can't really give them... Give them a wide berth, they say, and then they put us in this tight little... Ravine. Don't. Torch. This is not the time to go out. Let's extinguish that one. And um, put, put out our good one. They got glowy eyes. Did I just see his eyes glow? That's freaky. He's having a little munch of a deer there. We'll just sneak around here. Don't you mind us, Mr. Wolfie. We could throw a stone at him, but I'm thinking, um, best not. Best not. Let's just let's just leave him be. Mind him, let him do his thing, we'll do our thing, and um, we'll all be happy in the morning. Right, let's get out of here. Good. Oop. I think that was a successful evade. Right, this is looking very pretty and promising. Maybe, was that Astrid being eaten by the wolf? No, I think it was a deer, wasn't it? I think we're safe there. The story hasn't been ended prematurely. Is that a cave? No, it's just the weird lighting on the uh, on the rocks there. We'll pick some stones up because you never know. We may Whoa. need to. Right. I'm not as lost as I thought. A road. 
Hallelujah. Right, cave in's that way. Let's this looks like a dead end, so we're gonna examine here for any loots or any um frozen bodies, maybe from that Alice's lost expedition. Oh this yes, I kinda remember from the map there was where this was, I think. Well that doesn't really help us. Oh there's nothing here. There's no loots. Rubbish. But there is a stick. So I will not go away empty handed. In fact, it's better than that. There are two sticks. There are three sticks! Oh, this was worth it. And now my um, torch is about to, uh, to die. Uh, so we'll plow on. I can see a motorized vehicle. Do you mean to do that? It's good to know I can throw it though. Right, can we get in the search the trunk? There's nothing there. Vehicles. <laughs> you may wonder why I was running into that. You may have heard some noises. Cars can serve as shelters, protecting you from the deadly wind and wildlife. You might even find supplies in the glove compartments or the trunks. Now, there was a definite wolf I heard. There he is! <laughs> oh, okay. That was... Oh, dear. Right, we're in a dark car. In a dark, dark road. In a dark, dark street. In a dark, dark place. Um... And oh, there's no radio. Damn. Where's the glove box on this thing? Does it have a glove box? Uh, it's all gone very dark, and I can't see where that wolf is now. Um. he go? Here he comes. Yes, they've got glowing eyes. Some weird, freaky mutant wolves. I don't like it. Um. Oh, he's walking. This is like the worst safari park you could ever be. All the monkeys ripping off the uh, wiper blades. We're kind of trapped here for the moment. Um, what we could potentially do is drop a rabbit and uh, and see if we can maybe get away like that. The good thing is we're nice and warm. 30% Oh, it feels like minus 6 actually. I tell a lie. We're a little bit cold. Um, that's gone. Um, we could... Which one of these the smallest of the rabbits? That one. Can we harvest this? Um, we'll take one meat. We'll take the hide and the gut. That'll take an hour and a bit. That's fine. Two hundred something calories. Oh, as we're sitting here, we might as well do this. And what we can use the meat from this rabbit. Hopefully, we can use it as a um, add to radial. And now I'm thinking we can use that as a no. A fresh rabbit. Can we not drop Can't that? Feel my feet. Well, that's just as well. You've got a rabbit in your hand. Okay. Now that we've gutted the rabbit, we should be able to... Hang on. Where's our torch? Uh, that's the best one we have. Right. We've got um, some now... We now got some meat which we can... Whoops. One key. 
which we can drop uh, and skedaddle to the next car. The music's gone sinister. Where's the wolfie gone? Damn, I'm freezing. Yep, but we've got loads of trunks here. Look. Yeah. Nothing in there. No. Nothing obvious in the back. Our torch is dying. Right, we probably need to set ourselves a little fire to warm up once again. Got some matches, good stuff. Some beef jerky there, lovely. Um, working in the dark, feeling our way around a little bit. Risk of hypothermia, damn it. Fight back! Whoa, where did he come from? Craft them to stop bleeding. Bandages. Blood loss will kill you unless you stop it. Okay, thanks for thanks for the obvious. Right. I think we still got some bandages, haven't we? Bandage, yeah. Wolf bite. Apply bandage. <gasps> Good. Uh, what else we got? Um, risk uh, risk of infection. Okay, we can we can deal with that. Let's uh, some antiseptic on the left arm. We should do that. Now we've got hypothermia, which we'll set ourselves a little fire here, if we can. Should keep the uh, the beasts away for the moment, and also warm us up a little bit. Get some conditioning back. Come on. Mm, this is a bit slow, isn't it? Are you uh, serious? Ah. Uh... Fine. We'll use the accelerant. Fire's life out here. Fire's life out here. He's, he's, he's full of these great sayings, isn't he? Right, okay. We've got a little bit of a fire going now. Something to warm ourselves to. Um, just get rid of this hypothermia risk, which would be great. We need to mask our scent going forward as well. Um, we could potentially look to repair some clothing. Um, we could also have the bed roll down. Let's add a few, a few more. No, don't. No, I do need to do that. Right. Put that away for a second. Let's see if we can't uh, do some clothing repair. Right. What is that? Is sixty-five percent. That is our pants. We need to take those off for a second. Ooh, look at our underwear. That's lovely. And take some actions on that. Let's see if we can repair that. We've healed our hypothermia risk, which is the positive thing. This is now up to 39%, which is pretty good. It's not good. Don't get me wrong. Um, how much have we got left on the fire? 36 minutes. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're better anyway. Um... Not great, but they're better. That's 40%, 30%. Yeah, they're not great, but they're kind of... Let's take those off for a second. Let's put some more... No. Would you put that away for heaven? No. No. I do not want that. Put it away. Thank you. Right, we'll shove all our sticks on there. Um, and that gives us an hour and twelve. Let's just get the these um, this underwear repaired if we can. Eighty-six percent. Oh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Let's pop those on. Lovely. Um, Ragged Dan vest. We might have another go at these trousers, you know. 
25 minutes, let's give him another repair job. Seventy-two percent, much better. Look at that. That is, that is brilliant. Yes, looking better already. Uh, should we take this off and give this a go? Bit of a repair on that. Fire is starting to die. Forty-nine percent. Yeah, it's not much, not much of a thing, but never mind. Right, the fire is dead. Let's just hop into this vehicle. Uh, and we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the uh, Winter Mute Long Dark playthrough. It's um, it's starting to get a little bit more tasty now, isn't it? Wolves being mean, as wolves will be. Um, leave vehicle. But for the moment, we're safe on the bridge in this pickup truck. So we'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. Remember to sub and hit that notification so you can keep up to date with the latest videos. And I'll see you next time.